guys, Realtor Mike here. Kamusta kayo? So, I have an interesting topic to discuss today. No? So, the, the, the topic for today is, is Ayala Land still the best developer? Yon. For the purposes of our discussion, we will confine ourselves doon sa horizontal development, meaning villages. As you know, real estate has many aspects. Merong vertical, yung mga condos, merong commercial, may office, and uh, so on and so forth. No? So, but we will we'll confine ourselves, our discussion today, with the residential horizontal, yung mga villages. No? Hey, great. So, there, there's, there's an observation relayed to me. Na properties of Ayala land now that are being developed are not as... Um, upscale high end or uh, or polished as the the villages before yeah that's one of the observations that uh, have uh, have reached me no i'll answer that later there's another observation may mga delayed and raw completion of amenities here in new valley meron daw mga clubhouses na hindi patatapos although sold out na then uh, turned over name titles but the amenities are not yet done no and then there's a delayed turnover of some documentation, no? the titles and, and other ownership. Ano? Of course, it's not, ano, siguro, ano yan, um, uh, there are some instances only. We'll try to answer that later. Yun. So with these questions, with these uh, observations, that question has come up. Is Ayalan still, still the best? No? Or are they losing their touch? Or are they... Um, falling into complacency, no. So there's a certain pride, kasi, no. Probably a hubris of of owners and employees of Ayala Land, no. Siempre they have uh, all the reason to to have it, no. This this pride, no, because because of Forbes Park, the Marines Village, Makati City, BGC, Bel Air Urdaneta, San Lorenzo, Ayala Labang, Ayala Heights, Ayala Hills, I can go on and so forth. No? So all these horizontal villages, no, except for BGC and, and Makati, which are estates, have proven themselves to be very, ano, no, very nice properties, very nice developments, evidenced by, ano, by high resale value. So, kung ano, ano, the, the, the king of them all, Forbes Park right now, 1 billion, can you imagine 1 billion pesos? For a property, that's the I think that's the entry level, no. And uh, now I'm I'm being asked by a friend to sell their ancestral Bel Air property at ano, no? 380 to 420 pesos per square meter. Wow, grabe. Yon. So, so they have this ano no pedigree of of greatness. Uh, yung ano na yan, yung communities na yan, no? so That's why there 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 are many ano no. There are many loyal buyers of of of, of Ayala land, no? Kaya pag nagano sila nagbenta uh, ng properties, uh, sold out. There's a long line. There's a long line to their properties, no? Yon. But ano no? We cannot blame them. But you know, there are other non Ayala ano no? There there are other non Ayala properties. There are not other non Ayala communities, which are doing very well, no? In terms of property appreciation. Ima value verde, no? so that's value verde one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. North Green Hills, Northeast Green Hills, West Green Hills, Wakwa, Corinthian Garden, Corinthian Hills, Acropolis, La Vista. Uh, these are all non Ayala, but they're doing well. And the villages, when you go in, it's, it's very nice, no? Parang very exclusive also and, and very prestigious to live in, no? So there's, uh, no, no, Ayala land has no monopoly in terms of uh, having ano, having uh, uh, a beautiful and uh, a nice property no? so going back to the main question of this video is ayala land still the best i will have to say yes so sila pa rin, no um, because of their planning they're they're into estates na versus the others are into individual villages para palang sila estates na and I heard their land banking is enormous. They're doing land banking in Batangas, in Quezon Yata, in the Visayas, in Mindanao areas. No, so they're they're pretty much ready to, to unlock the values of these properties for the next 50 to 100 years or more. No, so medyo ano yun, medyo established sila. So I'll try to answer you mga things na observations. For example, 
the properties are not as nice as before or pre as prestigious. So, I must explain to you that Ayalan dati, Ayalan premier lang siya. Okay, yung puro high-end siyang yung ginagawa niya dati. Forbes Park, Dasma, uh, Ayal Heights, and so on and so forth, no? Uh, fairly recent, they, they tried to go down the economic scale, yeah, to put it political, to put it politically correct, yeah. So, uh, ngayon they 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 they're into five ano, segments now, no? Ayalan Premier, which which is their DNA talaga, no? That's their luxury brand. Their uh, then then um, Alveo Land, which is their upscale and high end. Avida is their middle market. And then uh, Amaya is their uh, affordable. Then merong uh, Bella Vida, their uh, no, their um, uh, economic. They call it the economic class, no? Yan. So halo halo yan. May subdivisions, may horizontal meaning villages and vertical, yung mga condominiums or and even townhouses. Yan. Okay. So yun yung ginawa ni ni, ano, ni Ayala Land, no? Before they were they were just uh, a luxury developer. So ngayon they went down the economic scale thus there there could be ano no there could be a mis, mis uh, a misconception let's say they see an Avida Avida village because it is targeted dun sa, sa middle market no hindi na sabihin lang Ayala land ba yan uh, hindi yan yung Ayala la, land of before but we must understand that they have expanded their portfolio yan as a side note si ano naman yung Yung Kevillar naman, yung Camellia brand, no? It, they went from economic to upscale, pataas naman yan. Yun. So, the second observation is that the delayed completion of amenities. So, I think it is a valid ano, no, observation because I've experienced this personally with my clients, no? But I think they are correcting this slowly because they've expanded uh, uh, quite a bit. Yeah, no. To say the least, no. Medyo may may massive expansion sila because of the thirst of the market. In, meaning the market can absorb yung simultaneous and almost simultaneous um, product offerings. So I think they are adjusting to the pace, no. That also explains yung mga delayed titles nila. I think they are catching up now. Their back end, yung Amikasa, their uh, their document, ano, no, do, document company. Is slowly catching up now with the with the with the demand of their own developments, no. So I think in a, in a couple of months or in a few years, mag even out na yan. I think um, I think they will be back to their usual excellent service. Yeah. As a disclaimer, I'm not an employee of Ayala. Though. I'm a licensed broker. I, I am accredited with them. I'm also accredited with the other developers such as Rockwell. Uh, Greenfield and all the others, yeah. But Ayala Land shouldn't rest on their laurels uh, because there there are, you know, there are developers who are catching up slowly, but I think surely uh, developers who have who have uh, made their mark in the real estate market, such as Rockwell, yeah. Rockwell may following, na yan. Yeah, and so when when the horizontal village in Carmel Ray, just beside New Valley, overlapping New Valley, was sold, madaming bumili dyan because madaming Rockwell followers. Yeah, so si Shangla Ren, although ano yan, uh, vertical, Arta Land is doing ano now, townhouses in the south, may mga followers na yan. Katay Land siguro, Greenfield, yan meron na rin. So, I think Ayala Land, well, well, ano, no, your competition is very good for the consumer, no? And it keeps the, ano, keeps them on their toes, yung, ano, yung mga developers, not to neglect the, ano, not to neglect the, the, uh, the, the client. Well, minsan, pag monopoly, of course, no choice case. So, they treat you like, you know, not, not so good sometimes. But when there's competition, the level of service goes up and the level of product offerings goes, go up. Yeah. Okay, so yun muna. I just wanted to tackle that, ano, is Ayala still the best? I think so. And But they shouldn't rest on their laurels because there are many other developers that are coming up. Yun. So just wanted to share with you my thoughts. If you want any other topics, no, let me know on that, ano, on that, uh, on the comments below so I can discuss it. Yeah. So, 
uh, don't forget to, to press the subscri subscribe button and uh, give me a ring, give me a call, give me a text if you have uh, no, no, anything you want to tell me. No? Okay. Again, this is Filter Mike saying stay safe and stay in faith. Bye and God bless.